Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. Today I'm doing another reaction. This time I'm reacting to Prince performing Sometimes It Snows in April live at Webster Hall, April 20th, 2004. And this is just him and his guitar. Let's have a listen. Check this out. This is what I remember from high school. <laughs> Ladies. That was just so cute. Uh, I have not reacted to Prince yet, but I have to tell you, he's actually one of my all time favorites. So talented, so gifted, so always reinventing himself. True Gemini, like me. And I love this intimate reaction right here on stage. And he's so mouthing the words to everybody. And of course his guitar skills are out of this world. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I hear the first song I learned? <laughs> On the guitar. <laughs> I didn't know this was on here. For real, that's it. That's it. That's all I know. Look at this day and night. Once you could do that, you could impress folks. <laughs> I went from that to this. I did not watch this before that very event, but it was so fun to see him so entertaining on the stage. Hey, ladies, ladies, I'll sing. Whew. What can I say? Prince is one of the most gifted musicians I've ever been aware of. You know, when he first had his first album, he played all the instruments. 
came from a musical family. That's the thing. When you come from a musical family, you have so much head start. His dad was a band leader. His mom was a singer. But I think there's even more going for Prince because he is kind of like a musical genius. And I've heard he was a little hard to work with sometimes, but what a passionate musician. So top rate. He can do any. His voice is amazing. I think Prince is another baritone, really. He's probably a high baritone that's trained his high voice easily. So he sang a lot of that falsetto. And earlier on, I didn't stop the camera, is he sang and then it was down into his more baritonal color in his voice and it's guitar playing. I'm jealous. I always, I work with a lot of guitarists and singers and I always say, well, most singers play rhythm unless you're Prince because <laughs> he could do everything and he plays piano. He's a great pianist. He plays all the instruments. He was just incredible artist. I miss him so much. You know, I, when I heard he passed away, I was just devastated. I, was, I wore purple every day. <laughs> so I'm wearing purple for him today because he was such an iconic musician and always recreating things, always challenging himself, always moving into new areas. His dad was a jazz musician, so you can hear that guitar, that jazz chord, and always reinventing. The other thing I love about him is when he would perform, he would always redo things. He wouldn't always do it the same time. Same. He wasn't always going to perform it the same way. That's boring. Who wants to hear that? He might as well put a record. So Prince and all his incarnations and all his bands, he was always changing things up. He was always rearranging um, things. Great performer, per totally in the moment. He has a great sense of humor. Yeah, I'm, I'm fangirling for sure. I've been a fan of him for quite some time. Since the 1999 album, I was like, who is that? It was one of those artists, and I won't go through the story where I heard it, but I was like captivated, first listen, been a fan ever since. So if you love Prince, please let me know what other Prince reactions I should do. There's so many. And I know when Prince was alive, he was really harsh. He was always taking off his videos, but now they're available to watch, which is great because his legacy will live on, just like Michael. Michael and Prince, love them both. And yeah, I think their feud was more for the press than anything else. I think they both really respected each other. And I do. I love them both. And I was never going to pick a favorite because I like them both in for various reasons. And so please let me know what other Prince reactions should I do, especially his live. And also I want to let you know, oh, yes. Also, I want you to make sure that if you love Prince, make sure to click on the bell and subscribe so you get notified of all my uploads. And I wanted to let you know I am still doing lessons in the lockdown. I've been teaching online since 2011 when I first started my YouTube channel and I've worked with students from all over the world of all levels and ages and all genres from beginners to professionals from everything from jazz to rock and to opera. It's so fun. So if you're interested in lessons, please go to my website at vocalsplendor.com. Also, I have two new free Facebook groups for my various interests. First one is called Creative Soul Alignment, and it's a group where we discuss creativity and spirituality and how they're interrelated. And my new group is called YouTube Success Strategies. So I'm stepping into the YouTube coaching arena, and this is a group where I'm going to offer some free training on how to build your YouTube channel. All right, and it's called uh, YouTube Success Strategies, and I will leave all the links below in the description. All right, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.